Hello guys, welcome to Jal Consult. I recently have sessions with some pals, so I observed the best way to learn MEP is to go through a practical section. Because of this, we'll be running an extensive practical class on this design process. We'll be using this architectural project named APO Arc to run the design process. So you can please comment your mail address in the section below. The first thing is to open the architectural design sent to you by the architect. Here is the architectural project. But before I proceed, the best advice I would rather give you guys is that you must have a backup of this original architectural design so that in case if preventure there is need to verify the architectural project, you will have something to reference to. Based on this, I will be closing this design. And I'll be creating a backup here. So right click, copy, paste. I will name the other one MEP. So it will be bearing APO. M M capital MEP. So I will open this one now. This will be the project I will be working on. For simplicity, I'll be deleting this one. We'll be working on the first one only. So delete. Now, the next step is to modify this architectural project based on MEP design preference. And the first thing you will observe in this design is that it has been congested by all these dimension lines by all these dimension architectural dimension so to achieve an effective project we need to get rid of all these lines and there are two ways to do this the first method is to use the select similar method and the second method is to use the layer method basically Professionals in the industry will always recommend the layers method and you can proceed to that one by clicking on any of the dimension line. I click this. You observe it says is this line is under dimension layer. So you click through the layer and you turn it off. You now see that the dimension line have been other than this one virtually all of the dimension lines have gone but other than the dimension line for example here window have gone to here to window have gone so this is the basic reason i used to advise students to go through the select similar method let me turn on the dimension line Now, this is because in most cases, architects are less conversant of the dimension skills, of the layer skills rather. So to make the work simpler for you, you can just click through any of the dimension line and select similar, S-E-L, enter. And you delete it. Based on this, all the dimension line okay we still have some dimension lines still present you can still click any of it to select similar sel enter and delete select similar okay 
select similar delete so by now virtually all the dimension I have gone and you may remember that we've gotten our backup project in case there is need to reference to it the other thing you can observe in this project design is that it's filled with grid lines or levels all these lines so we need to get rid of it too but in MEP designs too we still need most of this line because of the function they perform in any design so we only need to get rid of the lines passing through the project and to achieve this you can just create a rectangle here REC rectangle so we've used this rectangle to create a boundary for our project and you trim all the lines inside the rectangle and to do that just press tr tr enter after then click on the rectangle enter and now start to click on the dime all the lines you intended to to get rid of so all the line that touches the rectangle will be deleted Now you observe that if preventure we need any of the line, we still have it in our project, but it's not touching our design. So you just need to copy this architect this rectangle to the other plans here. Press F8 to create an orthogonal line that is a straight line, and you put it here too. So you perform the same you perform the same operations. So you, you need to perform the same operation to the first floor plan by trimming likewise the paint floor and the roof plan. Don't forget to comment your email address in the comment section below and see you in the next class.